Welcome back to PUA Drama. So, I have some uh, some news for you guys. Uh, Nick Krauser, he has only really been posting on his blog for quite a while now. It's only been a couple years. Um, I don't think he's posted a video in a couple years except for uh, one video with uh, some blonde girl in a bar. Uh, but apparently he didn't actually sleep with her, so I'm not going to show that. Um, it wasn't anything like that. But this is the first time, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time in a couple years uh, Nick Krauser has actually turned up on anybody's podcast or anybody's channel. And uh, he appeared on James Tusk's channel, which is pretty cool. Uh, and let's just have a quick little listen. There was a lot of milestones between leaving the house and getting laid, right? There's getting onto the street into the mix. There's actually doing the sex. There's getting a high right. point. There's getting a sign of attraction. There's successfully doing a mound of rapport. So there's two hours of this. Two hours of this on uh, James Tusk's channel. Uh, and he covered a lot of ground. He said that he was, I think he was saying that he was going correct me if I'm wrong, going celibate or not tr trying to avoid uh, doing too much day game or something like that. Uh, I was trying to get away from it the last couple of years. That's why he's kind of just been posting on his blog, um, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I watched this, actually. I thought it was very interesting because we haven't seen him in a while. It's, it's very nostalgic to have one of the Godfathers come back on and uh, I think it was a bit of a coup for uh, James Tuss to have him on, too, which is pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but I just thought that I'd let you guys know about it. Uh, check out James Tuss's channel if you want to watch that uh, entire podcast. Uh, he talks about... Uh, he covers a lot of ground, by the way. He covers a lot of ground, fills, a, fills us in on what he's been up to. And, yeah, very interesting. Very, very cool stuff. Well, this is just a quick little video just to let you know, guys know that um, it seems like Krauser's back. Towards the end of the video, somewhere, if I can probably find it. I was learning how to do spike because I didn't really need it. So with Indians, for example, yeah, there's some fucking cool Indians out there, right? Yeah, well, yeah this is it here. Of course, them. You know, I can tell that this is why I screen guys in like Skype chats before I take the money. So what you, yeah, when you, when you say screening, what do you kind of, if a guy is looking to come for you for coaching, we'll, we'll obviously put your details below so they can get directly in touch with you, but yeah, yeah. are there kind of a couple of key things that you're looking for, like any attributes in particular? Uh, well, the main ones I'm looking for right, is, um, first of all, sorry to the guy who uh, mentioned this earlier, but like, um, I'm not, I don't coach people who are on the spectrum. Not if right. they're like really on the spectrum, really on the spectrum. Because I just don't think their success probability is high enough that I, that I feel like I can take their money. I feel like I'm mugging them, right? I'm just conning them and picking the pocket, so I don't want to take that. You know, right. um, a little bit on the spectrum is not so bad, you know? Like, I'm, I think I'm actually a tiny little bit on the spectrum. And I certainly, like, on my, my dad's side of the family, they're a little bit aspy. Um, so the first thing is I'm just, I want to talk to them because, you know, on an email, you could be a dog, right? But when you're on a video talk, you get the feeling, does someone actually have, like, you know, reasonable, basic level social skills? Because right. you need, that's a prerequisite. Like, if you don't have those, you need to get that long before you start thinking of big in coaching, right? You know, you have to do that whole process of, you know, how to become normally socially calibrated. Because, you know, day game and seduction is a, you know, that's like sprinting compared to this other stuff that's crawling, right? You need that base. So, you know, but I mean, fortunately, most guys uh, have this, right? It's, yeah, and that, that's actually, I, I miraculously hit the right spot. That, that's the part that I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, he was, uh, he's coming back and doing some coaching. Uh, and he's talking about doing uh, Skype coaching as well. But he was saying that he doesn't coach guys that are on the spectrum and could be a little bit autistic. Um, and uh, a few other criteria there. Uh, I think he mentioned that he doesn't uh, coach Indians or certain types of Indians or most Indians or something like that uh, Which was very interesting, but I just thought I'd bring that to everyone's attention if you have any PUA gossip uh, Let me know uh, you got any PUA drama you want me to report on uh, hit me up 
uh, just leave a comment here. I think leaving a comment is probably the best spot to leave it and, and uh, I'll see if I can find it and report on it.